Hey guys, this is a lesson for Soul Meets Body by Death Cab. Now this song is really easy to learn, so it's like great for beginners, but it sounds awesome when you play it. So it's just a great song. So it sounds good and it's easy. Alright, so first off, you want a capo on fret 5, okay? And the first chord is A minor. Alright? And you want to hold that for two bars, okay? And the strumming is seriously just down up, down up, down up, down up. It's straight eighth notes. It's just a constant down up motion, okay? So. Okay? Next chord is the C. And you do the exact same strumming pattern. It's just. So for that first little line, you're switching from the A minor to the C. Okay, so it's just... Okay? So if you want to take a look at my right hand really quick, just for the strumming, it's just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, right? So A minor... So for the first half of the verse, you're going from A minor to C, okay? And now what you want to do is you want to go from A minor to C three times, and then at the end of the third time, that's when you hit your G. Okay? And the G you're going to play for four bars. Alright? So the, the whole thing, the first half of the verse, is going to go like this. Okay? If you want to play along, that's awesome. So after that, you just repeat it, except when you get to the G, you're only on G for two bars instead of four bars, so it's half the amount of time, right? So it ends up being, you know, like... Okay? Okay, so now we're on the chorus, and this is the fun part because it sounds really, really good. And the first phrase goes like this. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to take your middle finger and put it on the fourth string on the second fret. Okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to play the fifth string twice, then the fourth string, and then the third string. Okay? Now that's, that's the pattern, so it goes... Right? So 5th string, 5th string, 4th string, 3rd string, okay? And then you're going to put, you keep your middle finger there, put your ring finger down on the 3rd fret on the 5th string, and you do the exact same pattern. Okay? Then you take your ring finger, put it on fret 3 on the 6th string, and then just, uh, just, I don't know. So if you want to take a look at my right hand for the chorus, I do mostly down strokes, except I do like an upstroke on my way back up um, to repeat the pattern. Okay, and I find that that works the best for this song. I've tried, uh, I've tried doing alternate picking all the way through, and it d just doesn't really flow as well. So if you take a look, it goes. So it's like down, 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 up, down, 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 up, and then down. I find that works the best because you're doing the pattern, you're kind of going down, 
and then, right, and then you do it up, and then you're kind of coming up to repeat the pattern, right? So that works the best for me. So try it out. Okay, so that first phrase repeats itself. So you play it twice, and it sounds like this. Okay, sound good? So the next phrase sounds like this. So all you're doing is you're playing your middle finger here, second fret on the fourth string, and you're playing strings five, four, and three. Okay, then you want to play string six open, and then you want your first finger on the first fret of string six, and your ring finger on the third fret of string five, and you're playing string strings six, five, and four. Okay, so it's play another open sixth and then you play this part again okay so so if you want to look at my right hand again it's um, the same concept so I'm playing down strokes as I'm moving down the strings and the up strokes as I'm coming up Right? So if you want to look at that slowly, it goes... Okay, so the last part of the chorus sounds like this. Okay, so you want to put your middle finger right here like before, and you're going to play strings 5 and 4 together twice. Okay, now keep it where it is, and then put your ring finger on the 3rd fret on string 5, and you're going to play the same strings again, 5 and 4. Okay, now keep your ring finger where it is, take your middle finger off, first finger is going to go on fret 1 of string 6, and you're going to play strings 6 and 5 together twice. Okay. Now put your middle finger on top of your ring finger, same strings. Okay, now put your first finger down on fret 2 of string 5, like the top of a G chord. You're going to play that 8 times. Okay, so you want to make sure they're all like, you know, they're all switching together pretty fast. So it's like... for that part, I'm doing all down strokes, okay? So if you want to watch that slowly, it's just... Okay, so I'm going to play the whole chorus uh, slowly, and if you want to try to play it along with me, awesome, okay? So it goes like this. So practice it slow, and then slowly bring up the speed, and then it'll sound like this. Okay? So now let's learn the bridge. Uh, that's the part where he starts singing higher. He goes like, where soul meets body. That part. Okay, so it's the same chords, A minor to C, and then you go to a G at the end. Okay, so the rhythm's different though. Okay, so you start off with the A minor, and you go... And then 
and switch to the C. Okay, and then back to A minor. Okay, now you hit A minor again. And then C. And then you go straight to a G, and that's when you start just doing down, up, down, up, just straight. So you go back to the straight and you go. From there, you go right back into the chorus. Right? Okay. It's it's easier to understand when you hear like the singing with it too. So slowly, it's like where so it's So that's like the whole song, all right? So you got the verse, the chorus, that little bridge part. And uh, yeah, so just practice it, practice it, like listen to the song a lot, practice it with the song. And uh, yeah, and if you listen to the lyrics, you should know when to switch chords and stuff. So yeah, awesome, go play it, because it sounds wicked and it's really easy.